guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these crochet mug rug coasters and today we're going to use Bernat Handicrafter cotton yarn. This color is Coral Rose and you're going to need two strands of these and we're going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. So we're going to use two strands of yarn Gonna make a little slip knot. We're going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're going to work a half double crochet in the second stitch from the from the hook. Half double crochet. And then the next stitch we're going to work a single crochet. The one after that we're going to do a half double crochet. And then a single crochet. We're going to continue alternating half double crochet and single crochet for the rest of the row. And you're going to end the row with a single crochet in the last stitch. Every row should end with a single crochet. After you're done the first row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch, just like in the previous row. A single crochet in the next. We're going to continue alternating. So a half double crochet here and a single crochet in the next. And if you notice, you're doing the opposite stitch on top of what was in the previous row. So this first stitch was a half double crochet. In the previous row, it was it's on top of a single crochet. This next one is a single crochet, it's on top of a half double crochet from the previous row, and so on. So continue alternating, half double crochet, single, half double, single, half double. And we're going to end our row again with a single crochet. Again, next row we're going to chain one, turn, start with a half double crochet. And then a single crochet, continue alternating for each row. we're going to do this for 11 rows. So we just finished row 3, so continue on until you're done row 11. So here we are at the end of row 11. We'll finish this row up together. Again, finishing with a single crochet. So we're going to fasten.
fasten this off. And now we're going to add the fringe. So to add the fringe, we're gonna add three strands of yarn to each of the stitches along the top and the bottom. And we're gonna cut them approximately seven inches long. Or you can gauge for yourself how long you want it. So fold it in half and leave a little bit of space for trimming. Okay, I have 30 strands here and we're gonna take three of them and we're gonna fold them in half to create a loop. You're gonna take your hook and you're gonna come in through the back of your coaster, grab that loop, pull it through the stitch with a wide enough space to add these ends through. You're gonna push all these ends through that loop and you're gonna pull it snug. Take another three Fold them in half. Make sure you're coming up through the same way that you did the last one, through the back. Grab that loop, pull through, push all these ends through. And pull snug. And we're gonna work our way down the whole side grabbing three at a time. Now we're on the last one. When you get to the last one, I usually tie a little knot here so this doesn't come loose in the end. Try to keep it as close to the stitch as possible. Now you can choose to either work this end in, you can weave it in, or you could just add it to your fringe, which is what I do. Come through like you did before, pull that loop, and when you push when you push these ends through, just push this end through also. There you go. We're gonna cut another 30 strands and then we're gonna do this side. So now that we've added the fringe to the top and the bottom, we're going to trim it so that these are all the same length. So you can decide how long you want it. And I usually just grab half. And you need some sharp scissors for this. And cut across in a straight line. up 
the other half. And when you're happy with it, with the length you have, just cut this little end. When you're happy with the length you have, I usually fold it in half, match up all these little knots so that both sides are the same length. And cut them right at the same spot. lay it flat, brush it out, make any adjustments. There you go. It's all done. And I have these cute little labels available in my shop if you're interested. Comes in set of two. And one with a set of four. It's a PDF download, so you can download it and print as many as you want. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this.